So as we insert the sample in the sample chamber, the vacuum system is initialized. It takes several uh, seconds uh, to generate the image. And here is a simple diagram to show what's happening inside the SEM. This is the electron gun, which is the source of high energy electron beam. And then there are series of electromagnets which control the intensity and focus of the beam. The scanning coils rest to scan the sample. And as the focused electron beam hits the sample, several signals are generated, which are collected by uh, the detectors. Backscattered and secondary electrons are usually used for SEM imaging. Uh, the image is then projected on the monitor. The SEM first takes a low magnification photo of the sample and the optical image is what we see first on the screen. So this is the sample of calcium fluoride which is derived from mineral fluoride. Um, it is widely used in laser optics due to its unique optical properties. Um, the image is loaded in the small viewing window to the right and it acts as an optical GPS to move the electron beam across the sample step when we use the SEM mode. Let's zoom in uh, to take a closer look at our uh, calcium fluoride sample. It's a tiny chunk of fluoride. This is a beautiful sample and looks almost translucent and the tiny ridges and um, the topography is becoming more visible, magnified. Just a touch of pink there. Magnification is almost 100 times now. And now we'll switch to SEM mode. There is settings on the top and we are going to click on settings to get the options for SEM mode. This is the setting screen and we are going to look at the important options for SEM imaging and EDS analysis. The voltage determines the energy of the electrons in the beam and it can be set to 5 kilovolts, 10 kilovolts or 15 kilovolts. The voltage controls the interaction volume of the sample and also the electrons of the atoms in the sample that can be excited by the beam. At lower voltages, the area excited is smaller in depth and we can see the finer details of the sample surface. But higher voltage is required for heavier elements in the sample because the electrons in inner shells of the atoms will require more energy to become excited. Uh, if the energy of the electron beam is less than the ionization energy of the inner electrons, then X-rays will not be generated. So 15 kilovolts is the best option if we want both imaging as well as EDS analysis. The point mode and other modes determine the electron current, which is the number of electrons flowing in the beam at any given time. Um, generally, point mode is preferred because the SEM image depends on the number of electrons hitting the sample and the higher currents are produced by point mode. We choose the full detector and optimal resolution and quality. And after uh, the settings, we go back to the image screen. And we toggle to the SM mode and the SEM starts to generate the image.